Welcome. Today we'll be making a creamy pappardelle with leeks and pancetta. I'm Chef Anthony, and you're watching Publix Aprons Cooking School Online. For our pasta dish, we're going to make some homemade fresh pasta. We're going to start by taking two cups of all-purpose flour and adding it to our food processor. Then we're going to take three eggs. And in your recipe, it states to separate the eggs. So we have two egg yolks and one whole egg. We have a little bit of kosher salt, some black pepper, garlic powder. We're gonna measure out about a half a teaspoon, onion powder, smoked paprika, and then some extra virgin olive oil. We're adding three tablespoons to this recipe. And it's really important to add that olive oil to the recipe because it'll keep our dough nice and soft and keep it from cracking when we go to roll it out. So now what you want to do is just pulse this all together. And we're looking for a consistency of wet sand. So when I go in to test this dough and check it out, when I pinch it together, it clumps slightly, but it's still too dry to be a dough. So now we're gonna put that lid back on, we'll turn our food processor on, and we'll start adding some cold water. Now the recipe may call for two to three tablespoons. We're going to add a little bit at a time because you might not need that much. And we're not only looking for a texture, we're, we're listening because you can hear that the food processor is going to start getting louder as the dough gets heavier. Now another method, if you do not have a food processor, you can do the counter method. And in a counter method, you're actually putting your flour on the counter, you're putting your eggs and water in the center, and you knead it together by hand until you get this consistency that we're looking for in the food processor. So right now I'm up to about three tablespoons, just as the recipe suggests. And here we go. It's gonna spin around one time, and then our dough will be perfect. All right, so turn that out onto a clean work surface. You wanna form it into a disc, just like so, and then you're going to wrap it in plastic wrap. It's really important to let this dough rest in order to um, absorb all the dry ingredients in the dough. So we're gonna let this rest for about 20 minutes or up to four hours. You can even refrigerate it overnight before using it. So I'm gonna get this in the refrigerator and I'll be right back. We're ready to roll it out to make our pepperdell. So to start, we'll put a little bit of flour on our work surface just so it doesn't stick. We're gonna cut it into four equal portions, but hold on to that plastic wrap because we wanna keep the remaining dough covered so it doesn't dry out. So we'll just do four slices, set this aside, and we'll take that first piece of dough and just flatten it out into a rectangle. So now with our roller set at the widest setting, we're gonna turn that on. You can turn it up pretty high and we'll start feeding our dough through the rollers. There we go, we're getting a nice smooth dough. And now we're going to fold it into thirds like that and we're going to set the wide end in, the open end of the dough. Fold it one more time. And we're starting to get a nice smooth consistent dough here. We're going to reduce the width of the rollers down one setting, and we'll start passing this through without folding it from here on. You can see the dough is stretching because it's getting thinner and thinner. Now we'll set it one setting lower. So you see I'm putting a little bit more flour on the dough because as you're rolling it through, some moisture may start coming out of the dough and we don't want it to stick to our rollers. So I'm going to reduce the settings one more time, and we'll pass it through again. 
The thickness of the dough is really up to you. If you want a really thin pasta, you can roll it through one more time. I think we have a good texture right now. So I'm gonna lay this across my counter and we're gonna cut it into thirds. And this will make it a little bit easier to work with. Pappardelle is more of a rustic pasta. So we're just gonna fold it in half, maybe thirds, and just cut it with our cutter to get these nice wide ribbons. So now that we have this dough cut, we're going to collect it all, unroll it so it doesn't stick together, and then we're going to put it on a lightly floured surface. So as you're rolling this, you want to keep it covered so it doesn't dry out and begin cracking. We're gonna take this and put it aside so we can get the ingredients to make our sauce. So I have our leeks here, a key ingredient to this recipe. The recipe calls for two leeks or a pound. And when they say that, they want a pound of the part of the leek that we're actually going to use in the recipe. Now this leek here is going to be closer to a pound and the two of these together might be exactly what we need. So we're gonna start cutting off the top and the bottom of the leeks that we're going to use. In between all these layers, there's a lot of dirt. So I cut it lengthwise, cut this straight across. Try to keep them all uniform. If you're cutting them all different sizes, some may be overcooked before some of them are even tender. And once you have it cut, it's really important to clean them. And the easiest and best way to clean leeks is to drop them into a bowl of cold water. It's gonna allow the leeks to float and the dirt to sink. And then just break them up in the water. So once you have it soaking in there for about a minute, we're going to scoop it out and set it into our strainer. Very important not to pour this into the strainer or you'll be dumping all that dirt right back on top of the clean leeks. So I'm gonna leave this here and I'm going to get the rest of our ingredients to make our creamy leek and pancetta sauce. So now that we have our ingredients, we're ready to begin our sauce. So you wanna start by preheating a saute pan over about medium high heat. And once you get that hot enough, we're going to start adding our pancetta and soppressata. So we have an uncured pork belly and dried Italian sausage here. Now we're not putting any oil in this pan because these two ingredients will render enough fat to get this nice and crispy. And you wanna let that cook seven, eight minutes um, to render all that fat. So our pancetta and soppressata are just about where we want it to be. You can see it's nice and crispy, and we have about three or four tablespoons of fat in the pan. So we're going to remove this to this paper towel lined plate. We'll set that aside for now. So now we're going to add our cleaned leeks and sliced garlic. Give that a stir. This here is going to take about three or four minutes until the leeks become translucent and they soften up just a little bit before we continue adding the rest of the ingredients. Our leeks have cooked for about three to four minutes and they're wilted. This is what we're looking for. You can see a little bit of caramelization on there and that's just full of flavor. So now we're ready to add two cups of chicken stock. Just scrape the bottom of the pan, get any of that caramelization up into the stock so we create a really good flavor base for our cream sauce. You're gonna let this simmer for three to four minutes to reduce down till the pan is almost dry. 
we're ready to add our next ingredients. So we're gonna start by adding our lemon juice. And lemon juice will add some really nice acidity to cut through the heavy cream. And then we're going to add some roasted garlic bouillon. This will add a lot of flavor to this dish. We'll give that a good stir, and we're gonna let it cook seven to eight minutes or until thickened. I'm gonna let this simmer, and I'm going to grab my pasta. Our sauce looks great, so I'm just going to give that a stir. And now we're going to put our pasta in the water. Make sure your water is boiling. For this recipe, we don't have to salt our water. We have salt in the pasta dough, and our ingredients are going to add a lot of salt to the dish as well. And we're going to cook this for about four to five minutes until al dente. So our pasta is ready, and what we're going to do is just scoop it right from the boiling water, let it drain a little bit, and we're going to add it to our cream sauce. We're going to give that a stir, and now we can start adding the rest of our ingredients. We're going to add three quarters of sopressata and pancetta, and we're going to save some for garnish. We're going to add about a half a cup of Pecorino Romano, some white pepper, and three quarters of chopped basil. It's really going to add a little bit of sweetness to this dish. Give that a good stir. So I'm going to let this simmer for a minute, and I'm going to go grab a plate. So this is my favorite part of any recipe time to eat. So we'll take some of this pepperdell. Make sure you get every ingredient on that plate. Everything is coated really nicely with that cheese and that cream sauce. Once we have our pasta in the bowl, we're going to garnish with some of the remaining sopressata and pancetta and a little bit of fresh basil. Now we get to taste it. So the first thing I taste are those flavors of the crispy pancetta and sopressata. Then I get that hint of lemon that we added earlier. That blended in with the cream and the cheese just makes a nice balance to this dish. Making your own pasta is an easy process once you get used to it, and it elevates your dishes with a homemade touch. Click the link below for the full recipe and exact measurements. Subscribe for more Publix Aprons Cooking School online videos and other content from Publix. Enjoy your meal.